Another two news investigation tonight. The owners of an assisted living center in Mill Creek now say residents do not need to move out in 30 days. That's despite previously telling them they had to. But there's a condition if they do want to stay. Daniel Woodruff joining us live in Mill Creek to explain. Well, Pacifica tells me residents here can stay as long as they want, as long as they pay for their own care providers, because in-home care won't be available here after this building turns into 55 and older apartments. Now, most residents here are planning to move out, but some of them tell me they worry the company won't give them the financial boost they'll need to help them pay for that. As Pacifica Senior Living in Mill Creek gets ready to stop operating as an assisted living facility, Jim Bennett is getting ready to go somewhere else. But he's got a big concern on his mind. You know, everybody's got this expense of moving. The company says it's refunding a $2,500 community fee to residents who moved in within the last two months. Jim moved in March 17th just outside that. The company declined an on-camera interview, but I asked them, is there any reason why those who also moved in recently, but outside the two-month window, can't also get their community fees refunded? They tell me that will be handled by local management on a case-by-case -case basis. I think that's a very common corporate answer to give to uh, the media so they look good, but I don't think they have a any desire to put out that extra money. The company also tells me residents are welcome to stay with us as there is no requirement that they move out. Those who stay after the 30 days will need to arrange for their own care providers specifically suited to their needs. Did you know that was an option? No, I did not. Michael Rice, who also lives here, ended up finding a new place in Cottonwood Heights. But he says he's retained an attorney to make sure he gets his $2,500 to help him afford the move. Now, one of the residents here told me today he really hopes the Utah legislature will look at this situation and put in better safeguards to protect the elderly in situations like this. Recently, two lawmakers in our legislature, one Republican, one Democrat, told me they will keep an eye on this and potentially explore what else could be done to deal with a future similar situation. Live in Mill Creek, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.